Shut your up. That's enough. If you <laughs> open your mouth one more time, you're going to jail. Every day, hardworking officers are dispatched following 911 calls to ensure citizens get the help they need. Unfortunately, some folks seem to think 911 is their personal complaint lines for every petty problem imaginable. She can't be calling 911 making these false reports every time she gets drunk. It's middle of the day, she reeks of alcohol, she's gonna go to jail. Today, Detective Dell will take us to the top best cases when people call the police for dumb reasons. Listen to me, look at me. You're going to jail. The handcuffs are gonna stay on you for right now. Can I poop? 911 is for real emergencies, not a hotline for life's minor inconveniences. Just because your day is a little off doesn't mean you get to ring dispatches up like their customer service. I'm like, my God, God it's yeah. Easter Sunday. Tell me about it. I have seen many petty people in my life, but no one comes close to Judy, who decided to involve the government in a personal argument with her mother and then acted clueless. You oh, walk up these steps every no, day. No, I don't. How do you get to this walker? You teleport? On March 31st, 2024, Butler County officers responded to a residence to perform a welfare check. It turns out the issue was a family matter, but Judy decided to involve the officers without any emergency when cops questioned her about the 911 call. Her attitude did a 180. Open the door. You want me to open the door? How are you? I'm good. Well, can we speak? Can we have a chat with you? Yes, why? Okay. You called in a welfare check for your mom or just updating you about that? Oh, that's fine. Okay. What what did you, what was the what was the welfare check needed for? Nothing. Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? Nothing. You just called in to call? I did. That doesn't make any sense. So you knew you, you knew your mother was okay, right? Because you were on the phone with her and you guys were in an argument, correct? No. No. Th this is not the first time this has happened. Who called? You called. Oh. Well, I'm okay. No, no, I, 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 I'm not here for you. I'm here for you calling on your mother's welfare check on 911. When knowing well she was fine because you were just on the phone with her. You guys got in an argument and she hung up the phone because she didn't want to argue with you anymore. That does not give you the right to call in on 911 and send police officers to her house. Why did you do that? Did you know your mother was okay? Uh, what what made you want to call in a welfare check? What in do your? Do you want to come in? Oh yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, come in, come in. I can't is it, walk. Is there I anybody else? I, I understand that. No, there's nobody here. I don't have a dog. There's okay. nobody here. Okay. There's nobody here. Oh, you got a light? Oh, I just make sure there's nothing around. So, so as I was, what, what, what made you scared enough to call the police? To, what, what were you scared of for your mom? That she fell or what? No. What's he looking around my house? Yeah, you Fairfield Township? No, we are not Fairfield Township. What are you? Liberty Butler, Township. Butler County Sheriff's Office. Oh. Where your mother lives. That's where we patrol. That's where we were called for. For a complaint that was, from what I can tell, just you calling because you're maybe trying to harass your mother. Really? Can I have that in writing? I, I will put it in writing if you would like it. Yeah, I would Because like you just that. told me on this camera that there was nothing wrong with her. But there's nothing wrong with her. So why did you call on 911 for a welfare check of your mother? Answer it. Well, I don't know. Well, how much money do you make? Okay, stand up here for me. No. You're going I to don't. jail. Stand up. No, 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 no. Don't He's do that. You to stand up. Don't do that. Don't do that. Stand up. Come on. What are you arresting me for? This is the 911. Stand up. Stand up. I'm, I'm you have fine. An back, then stand up. Stand I up. got an injured back. I, I understand that, but you just walked just fine. We'll do it in front here. Call my daughter. Why are you arresting me? I just told you. You're under arrest for misuse of 911. Oh. Okay. 
How do we get you out of here? Oh, God. She can walk. Yeah. No, I can't. You can. You walk to the I floor back. You can walk. You can walk. Look like my cuffs off. Listen, your walker is upstairs for a reason because you can get upstairs. You're going to walk out with us. Do you have any medications or anything that you would need? I have a lot of them. Do you have like a, a calendar thing of pills? I am not going to jail. I, I want you to call my attorney right now. That's not how this works. No, I, wa I want my attorney called. Uh, that's not our job. You can call them from the jail. Let's go. I am not going. I can't walk. 2534. We'll have one in custody. Does office. this need to go with you? You're an adult. Your feet work. You can listen before you start talking. Listen to me. You are able to walk, so you can choose to walk out with us, and this can go as easy as that. I mean, my or, daughter was coming over. Why am I in cuffs? Because you broke the law. What? Why did I break? break you don't the get law? to call nine one one just because you're arguing with your mother. I got a poop. Miss Judith, please take this off. Listen, listen to me. Look at me. You're going to jail. The handcuffs are going to stay on you for right now. Can I poop? No, not right now. You can poop as soon as you get to the jail. No, they don't let me poop. I can't walk. Listen, on camera, you walked over here at a at a uh, more of a jog. Is what I, I would say. I can't walk. If if we have to carry you out of here or have some type of ambulance or come here or anything like that, yeah, you're not. That's not going to happen. But. You're going to catch another charge. For what? There's nothing here. We're making sure nobody else is here, and we're going to secure There's no your... There's one here. Where's your keys for your apartment? Where can we lock it up at? Take my cuffs off. That's not going to happen. You already... Did, when we tried to cuff you up, didn't obey our commands or anything like that. So, let's, let's get this going. Can we bring that walker with you? Would that help you? That's up on top of the steps? Would that help you walk better? At least up to the steps? No. Okay. Well, what if you sit in on it? We can go get that dress game. We'll just... I want to call an attorney right now. That, you can call as soon as you... Oh, there's a walker right there. You can call as soon as we get up to the jail. No. No, you haven't. No, take these off. Ma'am. Take these off. Don't call me, ma'am. Take these off. What I've you, not done anything. What would you prefer I call you? Judy. Judy, stand up. Take these off. Listen. So why they why why What happens when I here? Judy Judith. If I take them off, what happens then? You go get on the couch and we leave and that's the end of this? That's fine. Yes. That's yes. not happening. Yes. That's, that's not fine. happening. You were going to jail, regardless. I've already made that decision. Why? Because of your blatant Misuse of 911. Sorry. I'm sorry. You can be sorry to Judge McDonald. I'm, I'm not sorry. the one that takes the sorry business. I, I enforce the law, and that is the law. So we're going to help you I up. I don't think I did. You can see my cell phone. I don't think I called 911, did I? I? I can prove that easily, and I already did. Do you mind if I look? I don't mind. Perfect. I don't mind. <coughs> I don't have anything to hide. Is it unlocked? Yes, it is. Is this your only phone? You want it to come with us? No. Did I call 911? You don't want your phone to go to your with you to jail? No, I just want to see that you didn't call it, did you? You are not looking. You just you've phone. already told us that. Listen, I am giving you one more ask. I'm going to I'm going to help you up to get to the walker. After that, we are going to carry you up to our police cars and take you to jail. I don't understand why I'm unlocked me. I have to poop. Okay, so it's now 10:06 at 10:07. Me and him are both going to go under your arms, and we are going to carry you out to the car, okay? So, in that time, if you want to make a big girl decision... Uh, I've not did anything wrong. I don't think that I called 911, did I? That's the only phone here. I'm not debating you if you call us. Judy is right to be concerned, but her concerns are ill-placed. She's more about the toilet and the cuffs on her wrists. And in a few minutes, Judy will shapeshift into a toddler. No, there's nothing here. All right, it's 10 7. It's time to go to jail. No, you're not taking me to jail. Unlock this. Stand up. Oh, I got to poop. Stand I got to poop. I got to poop. You have these double locked. I heard them click. Did my daughter call? No, you called. Well, I didn't. I'm just worried about right, we'll something. We'll help you lock. 
I gotta poop in there. That's the only place I can poop. Come on. And that's my only, that's my only phone. You want to come to jail with us? Nope, nope. Call my attorney. Who is your attorney? It, it's, um, I don't know right now. I need to poop in there. How are we gonna call him? If I need to poop in there. Look, I got everything here. No, I gotta You're poop You're gonna catch a there. resisting charge. Yeah, get it. Well, yeah, don't let me out. I, I can't get I'm out. Not... Come on. No, you can't. I went to jail. I didn't do anything. Why are you calling? Oh, because I can't call 911. I need to poop in my bathroom. No, no, no. There's my walker. Do what? I'm not gonna walk to the side No, I can't. You can't. Come on. No, I can't. We're not doing this. Be an adult. No, I can't. I can't walk. Leave her here and we find a way to the I can't walk. Where's your keys at, Judy? Can I go to the bathroom? As soon as we get to the jail. You're not taking me to jail. For what? <clears throat> I need to poop. I understand that. Would it be okay if I poop? Not right now. We've all been there. You can hold it until we get to the jail. No, I can't. Would it be okay if I get up? I would like you to get up and walk up these steps like a responsible adult. Don't talk. Hey, does your daughter have a key to your house? No. Does your mom? No. But where's the key to your apartment so we can secure it? How'd you get in? You left it. You open the door and let us in? Well, I thought you were just gonna come in here and have a, a, a dinner with my family. Uh, I don't even know you, ma'am. We'll come back here. <clears throat> we'll, we'll figure it out. I, I, I need to poop. Okay. All right. Well, let's get up to the car so we can get that going at the jail. You're not, not going to take me to jail. We're going to have to try to get up sideways up there. All right. Turn around here, dude. No, I can't. No, 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 no. I need to poop. I, I, I need to poop. You're going to hurt yourself more oh. by not helping us out? Oh, I can't walk. I can't. Up. Who the hell called you? Stand up. Oh, God, well, I can't hold on to anything. Fuck. Stand up. Call my goddamn attorney right now. Call oh. my goddamn attorney. You oh, walk up damn. these steps every no, day. No, I don't. How do you get to this no. walker? You teleport? No, my my daughter helps well, me. I'm, I'm going to get this. We're going to go through her back door. Through the door. I want to sit down. Let me sit down. I don't know what the Why don't we take care of criminals. Okay. No, I can't walk. I can shut my feet. We're gonna have to get her spun around. Turn around. You gonna go on a back What the f did I do? Do not put your hands in my face. Oh, I know that. Yeah. I need to poop. So you're getting your feet on getting top? Yeah. You gonna right. go backwards? Yeah. Got it? Yeah. Why are you guys so All right, mean? Let's take a break for a second. Why are you so mean? I've not been mean to you once, man. Oh, hell yeah, you have. No, we have not. I need to go back into my home and food. That's all I ask. Do you have a camera? Yeah, they're both on. Yeah, I need to go back into my home. I'm like, I haven't done anything wrong. And I haven't. I need to poop. No, I can't walk. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Let's see what the... You don't sit on it. You walk on it. You walk on it. Get, that out of of it. Get, that out of Get off of me. Police brutality. Get her away from the stairs. No. Police brutality. All right. Stand up. No, I'm not. <clears throat> no, I'm not. Move your car closer. Why do you guys You ready to stand up and walk? No, oh, I need, I need clothes. You would, you would prefer that your neighbors see you being carried out of here than walk to the car? No, I just need clothes. I mean, I'm like, I was having my daughter come over. Stand up and we will help you with your clothes. Could you call my attorney? You can stand up and walk to that car. Not with these on. Yes, you can. That does not interfere with your feet. Your feet work fine. 
I've gotten more respect from kids that are gangbangers than I'm getting from you right now, which is kind of a big deal. Mm. Stand up and walk to the damn car. I can't. You can't. Do this. I want to call my attorney. No, no, oh, 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 I need a poop. Oh, oh, no, I need a poop. I'm, Stand up. Oh, God. Don't do that. It's just totally disrespectful. This no, is people, you're disrespectful. What the hell am I doing this for? It's a good question. I'm like, my God, it's yeah. Easter Sunday. Tell me about it. It's Easter Sunday. Come on. No, I can't get up. Let go of the damn bush. Jesus Christ, I want to go to the hospital right now. For what? Yeah. And police. Now we want to go to the hospital. Right now. Judy was charged with disrupting public service and resisting arrest. This suspect was clearly going through a late age crisis, but sometimes the younger generation can be equally dumb. Well, you guys come out here. I ain't even touch her, sir. Well, that's what your sister Colin said. I know she is, Cody. The world will be a much better place the day people realize officers aren't on duty to have fun. They are doing a serious job, but this suspect thinks everything is a joke. So just my back on you now or later. How much have you had to drink? Not enough. All right, turn around, put your hands behind your back. She's trash. You cannot get smell it coming off her from over here. On September 19th, 2024, an officer responded to a dispute between family members. According to the caller, a woman needed medical assistance after a fight with her brother. When the officer arrived, he was left shocked by what awaited him. What's going on? What happened? Huh? What's going on? You're the one that called. Cody, what's going on? Where's Courtney? Huh? Courtney, come here. They down there got my sister drunk. So I don't know. She just got out of the hospital. I know. She said that you're beating Courtney's ass. Well, that's what your sister Colin said. I know she is, Cody. But yeah, they're getting her drunk down there to have her come down here because the other night they had put a little trespass on me because I went down there to check on Courtney because she was getting a challenge. And then they all supposedly wasn't there except for Miss Liz and uh, some other woman. Yeah. Trying to start bull. Sorry, sorry. So they went and got my sister drunk trying to use her as a tool to get at me. At least that's the way I feel. Your sister hasn't been down there. She's been walking up and down the road with whoever that guy is. From the last, uh, last night. Oh, yeah. Four o'clock, three o'clock this morning, I see her walking down the road stumbling. I'm like, here, take the bicycle. Go back to where you're going. No sleep. So, yeah, I got her just walking around early in the morning. Courtney, quit playing it. Come on. Where's your mom at? She's in jail. They get raised in the Did they? Are you and Cody fighting? Huh?
The officer was clearly annoyed at this stunt because the sister was healthy and happy. Clearly, this was a prank call, which means the suspect would likely be charged for misusing 911. If you thought those stories of pranks were weird, wait till you see what happens when the 911 caller has to answer for their actions. As it turns out, there's another side to the story of the man you just saw. Prank calling 911 is a misdemeanor, a fact this suspect might know if she'd paid attention in school. Ironically, when the officer found her in the woods, she insisted she'd seen a woman being beaten up despite the woman assuring the, the officer she was perfectly fine. So they're not fighting. Why are you calling 911 saying they're fighting? They was. They're both telling me they were fighting that you came down. That you come down here starting with them. Really? Yeah, really. So I turn my back on you now or later? How much have you had to drink? Not enough. All right, turn around, put your hands behind your back. She's trash. You cannot get the smell of coming off her from over here. And now she's calling 911, making false reports. I did not. Don't turn around. She's under arrest. I think that false right there. It was not false. Thirteen eleven o'clock. You can link Jessica Catwich to this call. She's ten fifteen. Sign me ten nine nine. Have a seat. No, I think your fault. It's your sister's fault. She gets drunk and does this all the time. She so don't go to jail. She can't be calling 911, making these false reports every time she gets drunk. It's middle of the day. She reeks of alcohol. She's gonna go to jail. Maybe she'll go in there and sober up again. She was just in the hospital with liver failure. That's why I feel like they're trying to get at me. Oh, that stuff the no, she needs to go sober up. Thirteen on call me. Thirteen Whiskey Fox Trot 10 12, 51 to CCJ, 65 beginning. 70768, watch guard 10 8. 70768. Why are you drunk in the middle of the day, Jessica, calling 911? Because they were at me, approached me, and I'm wrong kind of different way. Yeah, you still take me to jail. He ain't cussing at you. He's telling me to back up. Huh? Yeah, you'll have a bond after eight hours. What's up? Huh? Uh, nothing is, uh, you ain't, uh, did you take her to jail? She's going right now. Uh, what's the uh, charge? She's going to have disorderly in talks and misuse of 911. I'm not on 44. She's trying to get some of her stuff. But that's not what she called. She called dispatch and said that Cody was beating up Courtney and that Courtney was going to need an ambulance. It's a little bit of yelling. She said Courtney was beating up, or Cody was beating up Courtney and Courtney was going to need an ambulance. That's not an emergency. She can go to jail.
woman was charged with making a false report, disorderly intoxication, and public order crimes. Calling the cops over petty family disputes is like shooting yourself in the foot, and our next suspects prove it. I told you where, where the f is at. I don't give a f what, what tell me nothing. Hey, suck it. I don't gotta tell you nothing. It's on record. I already told the officer anything else. So suck it. Couples fight all the time, but sometimes there's a BB gun involved, along with a 911 call made under questionable circumstances. On July 24, 2023, officers responded to a 911 call about a woman allegedly pulling a gun on her boyfriend. Funnily enough, the caller then acted like he'd stumbled into the scene by accident, suddenly uncooperative. Okay, you guys all stay out here. We're gonna make sure no one's inside. Okay. All right, we're just gonna make sure everybody's all right inside. You searched me already. You don't have to do all that. No, stay out here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. I, I hope you didn't harass downstairs. my son downstairs. I don't know what's in there, but... Thank you, sir. Okay. You, you okay. said you said there was a BB gun? Yes, I got it in my garbage bag downstairs. Okay. And you said that you said that there was a gun involved so that we would actually come? Yes. I seen the gun. I mentioned the gun. It was a BB gun. Never seen it. Took it from her. I called the cops. When there was a gun involved, it was a BB gun. So it's not no false accusations or anything like that. There actually is actually a BB gun involved. And that's outside? It's outside, yeah. Do you got an idea? You want to go check? I do not, sir. What's your uh, first name? It is, uh, I don't feel comfortable actually giving you my We're first name. Investigating I can give you my, my lawyer's name, Richard no, Fenberg. No, no, I can give you name. my Richard I can give, can give you my lawyer's name. name. You can give us your name. Okay, I'll give you my Richard's name. My no, we don't, name. we don't need your lawyer's name. We need I know, I know. You can give my Richard's, my lawyer's mm -hmm. name. Though. That's fine. I'll call Because I, I call the officer, sir. Yeah. So I should not be harassed. that's we're here. Okay. Not being harassed. Okay. You, you, mentioned, I, I, you mentioned I, I, a gun. We came out here. And I, I, We're here to I investigate exact. what's going on. I and now you, you don't want to give us your information. I just did. Did you call? I just did. I did. You, you gave us not. your name? I did. No. It, on the phone. So you should maybe go through your record and find out. Girl, so please, call back off me. Because I'm calling my lawyer for this. Harassment. You can call whatever you want to. Who? It's not harassment. You call us. You said there was a gun, which you knew there wasn't. It was a BB gun. Which you admitted to. You said you call us and said I did. I called so an officer. You can get it. I, called, I called. That's about a fire. I called about a fire. I called about a fire. I Richard my Fenberg. My Fenberg. Name, I'm talking to right, Officer Six Seven Five. You gotta respect my neighbors, please. I live here. Richard, I'm talking to Officer Six Seven Five from Oak Lawn. Also Three Seven Nine from Oak Lawn. Richard, I called about a uh, disturbance, about a firearm involved. It was a BB gun. I explained to the officer. I even acknowledged and even told him location of the firearm, of BB gun. Now, he's harassing me about my information. I told him I don't feel comfortable by giving my information. I give him your information. You are on the line, my son. Hey, don't talk to me. Where did you place don't the firearm? Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. It's Where did you place the firearm? Oh, we have no questions. You, I'm not in an investigation. You can suck it. For all I care, you're not. I'm not on investigation, sir. So I'm on record with my my rich. I'm I'm in record with my lawyer. I hope you got a dash cam going on or a body cam going on because I told you and acknowledged where the is the firearm. I told you where the is at. I don't give. Why, you what tell me nothing. Hey, suck it. I don't gotta tell you nothing. It's on record. I already told the officer anything else. So suck it. There's a bunch of bags down there, though. It's not happen to be in one of those bags. It's in a garbage bag. It's in a garbage bag downstairs? It's a BB gun. What is that? All right, I'm gonna go check. Make sure it's out front. Please. Out front? Right it could be either or. All right. We're gonna go take it might be up around the corner. For being the Richard, I called about a domestic. I want to get my belongings out. Almost all my belongings is out in the alley. All the officers have to do is escort me out. Now they're going out and beyond asking for a firearm where I have knowledge of it and located it for them. It was a BB gun to begin with. Dispatch discovered that the man had a protection order against him for the very place he was standing. But according to our suspect, he knows better than any government record. Active, we just, it's for Marco, and I believe that's you, correct? For what? Are you Marco? That's your name? For what? No. Your mom just called you Marco, man. Yeah. For what? Uh, are you talking about a what? A, a restraining order is squashed by court. Court order. You got paperwork? Yes, I do. Where's your so, name? Not right now at the moment. She has it. You can ask her for it. 
Activism. You can even ask her. Mm-hmm. It, it's not. Activism it's not been the incident. Marco. It's not has. It has not been the first incident where this has happened where it has came up. Mm. Wow. It's okay. Up well, that's fine. Oh cool. well. Well, guess what? I'm gonna sue you guys for arresting me for false education hey, because she has paperwork that it has I'm been sure. dismissed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, Richard. Uh, oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. 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 Let her come up and she will tell you the, the full explanation. Okay. All right. So I can have your arrest of, of false accusation. You're being detained. You're being detained okay. at this time. Okay. okay. Is your wallet in here? Yes, this is my wallet. You don't you don't have the consent to search me for it. Well, oh, you're under arrest. You're, you're under arrest now, arrest. so. You just said I'm under right. detained. Just take a look at the For what? what? You're under arrest. I'm detained. Yeah, yeah place I know. Place and it's under paperwork. And she could explain it. I'm under arrest. It's not under arrest. You are under arrest. Cool. I'm going to sue you guys. Ahead, that's fine. That's cool. That's cool. 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 You See can ya. suck. Bye. Suck it. Bye. Suck it. Your wife could tell you how to she suck the good. Go suck my go suck my go suck my. No. Until I get her an active report of her murder. You have to. You have to come to her though. Hey. Stop. Stop. All right. Knock Stop off. resisting. Find him. Find him. Knock it off. Find You're going! Stop, ma'am. Do not Pick walk up, up on that. Pick him up. I got his feet. Hey. 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 Yep, I got his feet. It doesn't matter. Hey. Let's go. Hey. I'm not even kidding. Hey. They're resisting. I'm not even kidding. Hey. It's a damage charge. Do not walk up on that. It's a damage charge. I'm not even there. Hey. 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 Let's go. Wait, why are you guys arresting? Do not walk up on them when he's going to jail. Why is he being arrested? He's active order protection. No, it's not active. I it's just verified it. No, they're not. No, our dispatch verified it. That's why he's being taken That's into custody. That's not true. So, we That's asked him for paperwork true. to prove otherwise. He refused to give us any. That's where we're at. I can ask him for paperwork in the I asked him for paperwork. He didn't want to give me any. How are they supposed to give you paperwork when you guys are intimidating him and talking to him the wrong way? No, he was. You don't even live here. Ma'am, this is on record, so. He's the one talking to us that way. Okay. Meanwhile, he has an active order protection here, so which he's in violation of. We placed him in custody, and now he wants to fight with everyone here. So, because that's where we're active. at. Nope, you, you lost your privilege there. You're going to harass now, me? Now, you like a little bit. You're going to harass me? You're going to harass me. Oh, that's my, okay, can you put me down? My arm. <laughs> You guys are so out of shape. Look at you guys. I know, you guys are so out of shape, bro. Come on. Oh, yeah, you're right. Can you? Hey, put me down. I walk in there. Hey, respectfully. I'll walk in there. Hey, come on. I'll walk in there, bro. Get yours. Can you want to search me before I go in there? Put your feet in the car. Put your feet in the car. Uh, all right, now where's the... the mystery around the BB gun was still unresolved, so the officers decided to investigate the girlfriend. This conversation would open another can of worms, leaving everyone shocked. So and when if it shows Which that it's not verified. active, what's going to happen? I'm asking because I don't know about these things. I can only go off the information I have available to me. But if it's not And nobody active. provided me paperwork, which I requested from him, and... He didn't want to provide anything to show anything different. How so that's where we're at. No, because we went to court pistol. and we did it online. So there was no paperwork. Ma'am, there's always paperwork. When you do it to court online and I well, drop the charges, well, where's the paperwork in that? I'm, I'm asking you, you the, honestly. Did you drop the I charges did. in court? That doesn't mean that the order of protection was taken back. So you may have not followed through and called I did. back an order of protection. I did. I told the I told the court when I went to court online because it was through the Zoom. I'll be happy to get you the information on the order of protection that it shows in the computer. I don't have that right now on me. I only have a dispatch verified. I understand, but I'm asking these questions. What I'm saying is, you may have dropped the charges on the case, but the order of protection was never rescinded. Who had the gun to begin with? It is a BB gun. It is not a real gun. Yeah, we understand that. I know. I know. And who, who? I'm not trying to give you guys an attitude or a hard no, time. No, we get it. We're just trying to get the full story here, okay? You he called and said she pulled the gun on him. Yes, but he knew at that time he knew it was a BB gun. He admitted that to us. And it was already. He said he thought it was a real gun, and then 
he realized it was a BB gun in that. That's what he's telling us in the hall, correct? Isn't that what he said to us? If you guys do understand, he's a little bit intoxicated. He did have drinks earlier. Okay. Well, I'm illegal. So I need to know I dropped the order of protection. Well, okay. And I went to court and I was telling him. Why don't we verify what went on here There's tonight? There's no paperwork on that because I didn't get okay. a zero. We don't have that right now, but we still need to find out exactly what's played out here. Because whether he thought this turns out to be a BB gun or not, based on one of his statements, he's claiming you pulled a firearm on him that he believed was a real firearm. And that's when he called the police. Yeah, maybe it's just bought her because I didn't want to be with him anymore. You know, I'm just asking him to leave my house. Because I have to work in the morning and I was trying to get some sleep. Well, I can't help you make decisions on who you choose to let me place here. Yeah, I know. So when it where does... did we get to the point where we're pulling a gun on somebody? I guess that's where how did when we're saying what went on here tonight, that's kind of what we're trying to figure out. I understand the Chicago guys take that seriously and I respect that. Like I said, it was the BB gun. He was kind of messed up. I don't know if you like notice he never really disrespects and acts out of pocket like that, which I'm embarrassed by the way. But it was a BB gun. Fine, but if he doesn't believe it's a BB gun. Then he could be drunk and out of his mind. I don't care. But it was a BB gun. I don't even have a gun. I don't believe in guns. Why did you pull the gun on him? How about that? Why don't we start there? Why did I pull it on? Yeah. Because I just wanted to scare him. For what reason? Because I just wanted to leave my house. Okay. Because he wasn't welcome to be here and you wanted him out. Pretty much, yeah. I had work in the morning. I have a very important job today. Was there any f arguments before you pulled the gun on him? No, we were just discussing some things, but it wasn't like anything out of pocket. You were just ready for him to go and... Pretty much, I just wanted my sleep. So you weren't in fear of him. You just pulled the gun, which he believed was a real gun. To yeah, I just him. wanted him to leave. Okay, I got news for you. When we pull out a gun and point it at somebody, to scare them, and they believe it's a real gun, guess what? What? That's an Ag UUW charge. Well, I don't know that. Because have a he believes it's a real weapon that's being pointed at him. But I don't have a record. I don't know any of that stuff. That's great. But you just committed a felony. In my own house? Yeah. Pointing a gun at somebody? Pointing when you gun weren't in fear of your safety, which you just said? And you pointed a gun at him? With the intention to scare him. I just wanted some sleep. Please don't take me to jail. Yeah, that's not how it works. So. Please, my son. Stand up with us. Ready? One, two, three. Stand up. Ready? One, stand up. Stand up. Ready? One, stand up. Ready? One, stand up. Please, I want to please. 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 I want to the woman was arrested for aggravated unlawful use of the weapon and the man was charged with obstructing identification among other charges. Officers are at your service 24-7 but some suspects fail to understand that by calling them for petty issues they are misusing valuable resources that could be needed for real emergencies. Take our next case where the suspects insist on calling for additional officers despite already having assistance on the scene. My Get out, last chance. Bust my window, you'll have a case. Okay. Yeah, I'm serious. Bust my window. All right, well, let's get out. You'll Come have on. a case. You know what's worse than calling 911 without an emergency? Calling 911 to complain about the cops who are just doing their jobs. I want a supervisor. I asked them for a supervisor and they did not. They just bust down my window. If you could stop yelling at me, that would be great, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I, I know it's not your fault. On April 10th, 2023, deputies in Hamilton Township, Ohio, stopped a vehicle upon discovering that it was displaying the license plate belonging to another car. Right off the bat, the driver was aggressive, putting the officers on alert. Four, four, nine, hooking up phone. Oh, What's going on? 
Good. Step out of the car. What are you doing digging around back there? Alright. What were you doing? Hiding something? No. You got any weapons or drugs in the car? No. Why, why are you stopping me? Because you can't see your license plate. I can see my license plate. It's clearly fine. It's all broke up on the back. Huh? It's all broke up on the back. You can't read it from the back. It has to be visible from 50 feet. I can break it off. Huh? It broke that off. Do you have your license on you? Yeah, I got my license on me. Do you have I any weapons in the car? Off? Yeah, do you have any weapons in the car? No, I do not. What were you hiding back in the back there? I didn't put nothing in the back. It's, I just seen what you were doing. I went like that. I saw your hand digging back yeah, there. Yeah, I went like that. Just give me your license. I'm not taking my license. Because what? I said I won't take my seatbelt off because you'll blame me for some bull. I'm not Listen blaming you for up. nothing. You got me on junked up charges right now. Junked up. Junked up charges, yeah. Does this vehicle belong to you? Yes, it does. All right. intoxicated M1 and criminal mischief M3. He's also showing as a respondent on a no contact order, also out of Columbus Police Department. Would you like that possible in City County Verified? Let's go get him out. Copy, stand by. Yeah, you got a possible warrant. Step out of the car. They're telling me right now. Yeah, you're three, what? Yeah, get out of the car. We'll break the window. Uh, what? You'll find out in a minute. No, I'm not. Yeah, no, we're not please. gonna play this game. No. We're not playing this game. Let me get my. Uh... Dispatch revealed that this was a dangerous man with a warrant for using weapons while intoxicated and criminal mischief. With this new information, the officers couldn't just let him go. But even the most extreme measures might not be enough to handle this suspect. Step out of the car. Step out of the car. Oh, no. Listen. Hey, get out of the car. Or we're gonna, listen, stop. We're going to break the window, get you out, and you're going to get another charge for resisting. You're so it's your. No, you're gonna have. This is something simple as you might have a possible warrant. If you step out, you have nothing. I don't you're have right, a but warrant. listen. Look at me. Okay, but listen to me. If you don't have a warrant, you're free to go. Why do you would need me out of the car? You have a I'm not getting out of the car. That's a freedom of right. No, it's not. No, it's not. You, you have, have a possible, you have warrant. possible warrant. Possible warrant. Oh my. Get out. You're. My Turn. If you step out the car. My. Get out. Last chance. Bust my window. You'll have a case. Okay. Yeah, I'm serious. Bust my window. All right, well, let's get out. We'll have a case. Let's go. If you open the car door, this is so much more safe. No, it ain't. So you're going to make us bust your window out and Yeah, you will have car. a case and I'll sue the f out of you guys. For what? You have a possible word. A possible, a possible word. Look it up. There well, ain't no good word. Right, right, right now. Here's my buddies, yeah. Okay, let's get out of the car. You ain't getting me out of the car. Okay. No, unless you have a warrant. Show me. Paper you have a warrant. Proof. You have a warrant. Okay. Let's go. I want a, I want a security. Well, once we bust your window and get I'll, you out, then we yeah, will. Yeah, you think you. Okay. You think. You have your window buster. No, you won't. Superior. Don't do it. Superior officer Don't do it. now. Superior Don't do it. officer now. Put your car in park. Put a Put superior your car in park. officer in Put your car. charge. I want your commander now. Let's go. Bro, look! Come on. Yeah, look! I have it's a warrant! We're just gonna I just got that charge charged! Last chance. They don't got no I got 24 on 45 and T1 or he can get a car for them out. No, we don't need a 44. Yeah, just, just, t four. just tell, hey, tell S13 we're gonna bust the window. You do not have a warrant. Open it now. 
Go ahead. Piece of go. What do you do? Just push Yep, hit it. Bro, don't hit my... Get out oh, now. Get out. Get out now. Get out of the car. Go. Last chance. Do it. Get out of the car. Hit the top. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. He took off. Be advised, he took off. He's... He's going eastbound on Glendora. Our suspect is not only dangerous, but extremely dumb, because guess what he does right after evading the officers? Threat to come back. 911, where is your emergency? Uh, cops chasing me. Busted out my window. You said, a said I had a warrant. Cop, yeah. A highway or a sheriff. We, okay, where did this happen at? On, uh, uh, what is it? What is it? A uh, Lock Williams? A uh, Lockbourne, I think it is. Williams and Lockbourne? No, uh, yeah, around that area. Okay. All right, so you said the they chased you and busted out your window, and what what it, what yeah. are you wanting now? I pulled I pulled I pulled over for him, right? I pulled over for him and everything, gave him all my information. He called he called his backup, said I got a warrant, get the out of your car and get on the ground. And I just talked to my PO yesterday, so he's a bull liar saying I got a warrant, get on the ground. Okay. I told him here's all my information. I had it all in hand. And he's like, get on the ground, bust out your window, and just Okay, Poof! sir, hang on one bust second, on stop. Give me one second. What exactly are you calling 911 for now, though? For so that bull I'm done with this yeah. Okay, so they, do you want to they, they, they come, come back find out and me, talk but to you they now? Won't find me. I don't want no one to talk to me. They can stay away. I want a supervisor. I asked them for a supervisor, and they did not. They just busted out my window. If you could stop yelling at me, that would be great, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I, didn't, I know it's not your fault. Okay, so you're, really wanting, just you're just off. wanting to talk to one of their supervisors, that's all? Yep. Okay. What's your first name? Uh, Dustin Williams. They got my ID. I want that right. back, too. All right, Dustin, is your phone number 614-210? Yep. I know you got it and tracked it, so. Say that one more time. At. I said they're, you're already tracking it, so I already know, they already know where I'm at. I'm at my house. They got my ID. Okay, they have your ID. All right, I'll see if I can't get a... Supervisor, give you a call, okay? All right, thank you. You're welcome. All right, bye bye. Unfortunately, not even a supervisor could get him out of this mess. The suspect was slapped with multiple charges, including operating a vehicle bearing an invalid license plate, tag violation, fleeing an officer in a motor vehicle, and more. If you think this is our most unhinged suspect so far, wait till you meet the next one. Really, Aaron? You gonna really sit there and lie? I was in the house with you the whole what, time. What, are we instructing at this point? Right you, you I was speak? with you the whole time. I was with you the whole time. God damn, so, man. At this point, we're obstructing. I don't care if you laugh, laugh. Rule number one after calling 911 is actually listening to the officers who drove all the way to help you out. But this suspect is more interested in running his mouth than taking any advice. Can I, can I just see your knuckles real quick just to confirm that everything you're telling me is good? Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Can you, can you see I that? You. I got you. I didn't even hit her. I got you. On June 22nd, 2024, police were called after a woman caused a ruckus, claiming that her boyfriend had kicked her out of his house. Hello. What's going on? Hello. What's going on? Uh, I want to press charges on him. He oh. just beat me up. I got marks and stuff all over me. And bruise on my leg. He just punched me in my head about a million times. Okay. Can you can you tell me what happened? He was asleep. I, I had my he had my no, phone, so I, I was begging and kicking on his no, door to no, wake no, him no, up. Period. This is what the Period. Period. Shut the up. You were sleeping. So I was banging hey, on your mother. Listen, door. If you want us to hear your story, why are you? Okay. 
Yeah, come to get sleep. my phone. Just like she right. said, I was Miss, asleep. Will you come talk to me over here? I was then? asleep. Since he wants to act the family. Right step over there. You just heard what she said, right? Well, thank you. It was right around. What? What? Can you explain to me what the heck happened here? So, he had my phone. Okay. I'm not even on drugs. Shut your up. Stop. 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 Good lord. I mean, Try me. Hey, Drug test me. Here. I bet you I hey, come clean. You talk to him, not him. Yeah. I'm talking I mean, about. What are we doing here, man? If you're gonna yell at him, why are we even here? Because I want to press charges on him. That's, that's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to get you to tell me the story, but you want to yell at him. Tell me what's up. Because he was asleep. He had took my phone. Okay. So I banged on his door and bang on or banging on his door to try to get my phone. In. So because he was asleep. Okay. So I'm trying to wake him up. Sure. He told me. She left and came back. I was in my house. Oh no! He told. He said, "Get your and get the out of my house." Okay. I get my phone. I get my. I got my um my Pepsi that I had through. Yeah, through it. But um. When I had through, when he had through it, when I had through it, he had punched me, but I didn't throw it at him. Okay, so he thinks he threw a Pepsi at him, so he punched me. He kept punching me, kept punching me in my head. Okay. I have marks all over me, bruises on me, or punch me in my head a million times. I want to punch charges on him. Where at on your head? The, just in my head, right here. Yes. Literally. Do you have any knots? I probably, I probably yeah, right here. You feel them? The, yes. If you can feel it right there, I have a big knot right there. Okay. So then what? The, then he's punching you, then what? Then he kept punching me and punching me, so I tried to hit him back. Okay. What happened to your arms? He had, he, um, when he was punching me and stuff, he had kept scratching me or whatever. That was the story. She came here, not okay. And then I had I got a that. bruise on my leg right there. How long ago did this all happen? Hmm? How long ago did this happen? Probably before you even came, probably 20 minutes ago. Yeah, because you're going to jail. Could I get your name, please? Savannah. On some hood shit. I can see that. I would not be out here right now if I was that type of dirty. So you ain't beat me up? Savannah, what's your date of birth? Savannah, what is your date of birth? You ain't punch me? Can you stop? You ain't punch me? Come on. Can you stop? Seriously, you gotta you gotta quit. You were gone. Hey, yeah. am I, I am I invisible? <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta quit, man. If you want us to help you, you gotta cut that out. But you just beat my shut up. What's your date of birth? Shut, shut your up. That's enough. If you <laughs> open your mouth one more time, you're going to jail. I don't stop. Know what you're doing. You, you really gotta stop. Dude. Don't get about going to jail. You really gotta what? stop. What are you talking about? You punch me. <laughs> This woman kept obstructing the investigation despite several warnings. Finally, the officers had to step in, making it clear that her interference had crossed the line. What is your current address? I don't have one. Okay. I'd be staying here with him. Okay. What's y'all's relationship? How long y'all been together? Five years. You don't live together. You got any kids with him? Because you have my phone. Oh my God! See? One more time, I swear to God, you you're going to jail. Them? That's it. Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Do you have any kids with them? Yeah, four. Four kids with with him? Yes. Yeah. Are they all here? No. Okay. You see. Listen. We're taking both sides of it, right? We don't need you and him to chime in at each other. We're going to take both sides. Then me and my partner are going to talk. What we don't need is you two yelling back and forth. That helps nothing. It is not helpful, even a little bit. We don't need to refute what he says. I know you're, you're all keyed up. And because he's sitting there lying like he didn't touch me. Okay, and I get it. But again, we just don't need that back and forth. That's why we're here, to figure this out. We don't need y'all doing this. He ain't this no mother goody two shoes. What's wrong with you? God ain't make you make you perfect and stop making everybody else. Ain't nobody being no. Shut your. Shut your up. Nothing. Nothing. I walked all the way to my grandmother's house because he had my phone. She didn't answer, so I walked all the way back here to get my phone. Why did he have your phone? But he took it. Yeah, why? He took it out of my hand. Yeah, for what purpose? Why did he have it? Because he kept asking me to come back, and I told him no. So he took my phone. Okay. Fuck me. Come over here. No. So I said, 
Shut up, lion. Really, Aaron? You gonna really sit there and lie? That I was in the house with you the whole what, what, time. Are we obstructing at this point? Right now. Do you, do you I was speak? with you the whole time. Talking to her. I was with you the whole time. God damn, man. At this point, we're obstructing. I don't care if you laugh, laugh. I was with you the whole time, but you gonna sit here and lie? Yes, I was. We can't be doing this. He's, he warned you a bunch of times, man. Okay, I understand that, but he just sitting there lying. Do you think we believe these lies? I mean, look, this is, again, we didn't have to do all this. You didn't have to go to jail today. You gotta control your mouth, man. You got any property on you? No, it's besides my phone. Okay, let me have it. I really hate that we had to do that. Have a seat, please. Can I, can you go in there so I can call my grandma and tell yeah, her? We will, let me, yeah, we will. It may seem like this woman was a victim, but a quick conversation with her boyfriend would reveal that her whole story was a lie. Oh, I'm done with that. What she's saying right now is hearsay. It's telling me okay. she's belligerent. So she showed up. Which, did she show up to get closed? Was she just trying to come back to the house? Was she... she showed up knocking on my door because she knew that, okay, she's lying. So she showed up to she get She showed stuff. up here. I was okay. asleep. Right. I, I, I got that. Okay. And then she what, knocked on the door. Knocked you on the door. Answered. I answered the door. Did she I didn't come even in? answer the door. I answered the window. I said, what, like what's going on? Yeah. Right. I'm, what's going on? She answered, I, I answered the window, and I'm like, what's going on? Mm -hmm. And I, I kept the door like, what's up? Mm -hmm. I didn't do this and I didn't do that. You, you're lying right off the rip when you told me you're not doing this and not doing that. She you're said being, that right off the rip. You're being, you're being, you're being, yeah. you're being trying to defer. Yeah, you're, you're being dumb. I'm not, sure. I'm not stupid. Okay. <laughs> I'm just talking to you. I'm not even talking. She's trying to so, that she's busy. That, so, that, that she's doing right so, she, so she just showed up, started knocking on the door, and you didn't even let her in the house? No. Okay. That's why she's on her with her things. Did you give her her things to like, no. come to the door she's and give her her things? She, she had them already. She's had those things for hours. And okay, so she just showed up with this? Yes. And she was just trying to get back yeah. in the house? Yeah, because she probably thought, like, okay, well, he's going to let me back in. Like, no. Did you're you have being... a phone? Is that what she was saying? Or did you give her I didn't have her phone. I, I, I text her phone. I've have, I have her messages in my phone. Okay. She's just being a And then she think that, okay, she can come back when she wants to. I, I, I can, can, I, can I just see your knuckles real quick just to confirm that everything you're telling me is good? Okay. Nothing. Okay. Nothing. Okay. You, you see I that? You. I got you. I didn't even hit her. I got you. Man. Nothing. Bro. So is she just staying here temporarily? Or it's she like she's here? not. Like she's she just coming to like transient? When she gets mad. Or like she like portray that she's mad and go everybody like that. Then okay, when she wanna make it like okay, well I'm not I'm not mad at you. Then she me come over here. Mm -hmm. No. So I said tonight no, man. I got you. No. I got you. How long ago did she get here before she, like we showed up? What'd you say? Maybe like maybe like two three hours. Two three hours. She's been all night. That it, 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 I wouldn't. Let you in my house. No, you're, you're good, bro. I I I believe. You. Is was there? Is there someone? Everything. Well, how did she do all that? She came in. I'm like, okay, you can get your things or whatever. I'm I'm not tripping. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm fine. Okay, get your things. Whatever, sit down. You start breaking up my stuff. Okay. My house is a very clean house. If you pay can I take a look at some of that? Into stuff? my house. Look at my home. Does she have any marks on? Nothing that would be like he's, his not he's got nothing on nothing any of his knuckles like no no. So like she does have some like little cuts and stuff like that, but she's saying that he was punching her in the head. Yeah. I'm like, do you have any marks in your He's head? got no irritation, yeah. no inflammation, got, no like, nothing on his knuckles. And everything he's telling me makes sense. She was belligerent like this in the rain with her mom. Yeah. Well she told She just got out of out of the the uh mm -hmm. from her mom called in the rain for this. You know? Like, I'm not gonna just take a break. Throw it in the air and break it. 
Like, don't do that to my home, man. The reason I'm out here is because of my children. If, if he punched her, she'd have a lot more injuries. Yes! Yes! Okay. You see that? He told him I punched her. <laughs> if you throw him out. Oh, oh. Can I talk to you real quick down here? Please move. You see this? Look. You was upstairs. Look. Look. Breaking plates. I, I said, okay. I'm going to call the police. Call the police. But I just want to hear. I just want to hear another witness. Did you hear anything that happened? I've been sleeping. You've been sleeping? You didn't hear anything? You didn't see anything? I just woke up. You just woke up? Okay. All right. That's all good then. Never mind. All right, man. We're going to get out of here, okay? We're going to get out of here, okay? All right, take care, man. Have a good one, man. All right. Uh, I'm so sorry. I would, uh... I learned this from. That's her. Yeah. The woman was charged with obstructing official business. Thank you, Detective Dale, for sharing these intriguing tales. So, do you think these folks learned their lesson? Share your thoughts in the comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe out there.